find a fraction by a decimal here. Uh, we have uh, Richard online. Richard, what do you think we should do here first? The first thing you would have to do is convert the fraction 2.5 to a decimal, which is 0 0.20. There is 20 percent, so it's 0 0.20. Very good. So we're going to ch convert 2 over 5 into a decimal. So if I divide 5 into 2, so we get 0 here. And then I can go to the decimal portion of this and bring the zero down here. And then here I would get four. So the remainder is zero. So I can uh, convert two over five to point four. And then just simply multiply these two decimals number together. And uh, one way to, to do this here is to uh, simply multiply uh, these numbers without the decimal point. So that you need 2 times 4 is 8. Uh, here you get 32. Two times four is eight plus three. Eleven. Two times four is eight plus one would be nine. So here we have uh, two digits after this decimal point. So it means I have to move this decimal points. Uh, to the left two digits. So this whole thing would be equal to 91.28. Uh, uh, Richard, can you tell me uh, what would be the other way to get the same answer? Um, the other way to get the same answer would be to convert the decimal 228.2 into a fraction. Very good. Uh, converting a decimal to a fraction. Can you tell me how to do that? Um, looking at that one, you only have one spot past the decimal, so that means it's tens. So it would be 228 tens. Oh, no, no. 2,282 tens. Okay, because it's the two hundred. Yeah, okay, actually. Yeah. Very good. So that would be 2,282 over 10. So now uh, I have to multiply 2 fifths by this number. Let's see if you get the same answer. Before I multiply fractions, Richard, what do you think I should do next? Um, you should try to cancel out uh, factors. Mm -hmm. so yes, we can reduce. So we have 2 here. We divide uh, that into 2. Uh, half of 10 would be uh, 5. Is there anything else I can reduce, Richard? I'm trying to see if 2,282 is divisible by 5. Well, for that, you just look at the last digits, right? If the last digit is 0 or 5, then it would be divisible by 5. If it's not, uh, so it's not a divisible by 5. Is that correct? Yeah, it's not, so we just have to leave it the same. Hmm. Exactly. So 1 times this number would be the number itself. And then at the bottom of the fraction, with 5 times 5, which is equal to 25. Uh, to see if this is the same number, we can just uh, use the long division again. We, divide, we can divide 25 into 
2,282. And then, as you see here, we can uh, you see the numbers would be 9. 9 times 25 would be 225. And uh, the remainder here would be 3. So if I bring the next number down, the 2 down. So that would give me 1. 1 times 25 would be 25. And the remainder here would be 7. So if I want to continue, I have to bring the zeros after the decimals down. Let's do that. So here we get 70, and now I get into a decimal portion of this. Uh, so I get 2 here, 2 times 25. That would give me 50. And the remainder is 20. And if I continue with bringing uh, more zeros down here, Then I would get here 8, 8 times 25, that gives me 200. And the remainder, obviously, is equal to 0. As you see, uh, that's the same exact uh, numbers. So here, we can write this as a fraction. That's a reduced form or decimal. So how do we know which way to do? What do you think, Richard? Um, personally, I would just do it whichever way was easier for me. Now, which one is easier for you? Uh, for me, the first way was the easiest. Definitely, for me too. Uh, when you have a fraction and a decimal, probably the easiest would be change the uh, fraction into decimal, like we did first, and just simply multiply two decimals and we're done. You can always change the final answer to whatever answer they uh, want us to do. Uh, how do you uh, change uh, this decimal into a fraction, Richard? What do you think we should do? Well, since you have two spots to the right of the decimal, that's going to be over 100. And so it would be 9,128 over 100. Exactly. We can always change any of these decimal to fraction, fraction to decimal. And as you see here, we can reduce this, right? If I, uh, if I reduce this, I would get the exact number here as I calculated half of this number would be 2,282, and half of uh, that would be, uh, well, you have to do it twice. So if, if you do it uh, divided uh, into two twice, uh, that's what you get. Uh, as you see here, if I divide uh, this number at the top of the fraction, 9,128, into 2, uh, you would get, if you divide into 2, you get 4,564. If I divide this into 2, we would get 50. Uh, if you divide it again into 2, divided once again to 2, you get uh, the same fraction. We got this. Uh, do you follow all this, Richard? Yeah, no problem. OK, very good. So once again, uh, to multiply a fraction by decimal, you have two choices. You can convert the fraction into the decimal and multiply the decimals together. You get a decimal of the final answer. We can always convert it to a fraction at the end if you want to. Or we can convert the decimal into a fraction and then multiply the fractions together. When you multiply fractions together, make sure to reduce them first. 
And then once you reduce them, you can always change it back to decimal if you want to. Depends how you want the final answer to be. In this case, uh, the final answer here, uh, we can write it as a decimal, would be 91.28, or we can write it as a fraction form. 